We got Couching with Koel. This week, another star is hitching a ride on my mobile couch and I'm happy to oblige because he's been my co-star a long time ago and he is a humongous talent who is defying the limitations of popular convention not only here in India but also in the West. He doesn't talk much but he doesn't need to because his eyes speak volumes. So come on in with me as I'm inviting you to witness the couch giving a lift to Irfan. Hello Irfan, thank Hello, you for coming Koyal. on my couch, on thank my bus. You. Thank you so much for providing us such a warm, lovely, you know, feel good seats. <laughs> Don't <laughs> fall know. asleep, okay? <laughs> no, no, it's, they're very inviting and they're very... So where are we going? We, we shouldn't know. We shouldn't know. We shouldn't know, that's the fun of going, you know, that's the fun of going. Let, let, the, let the road decide where we go. Is this how you've done your career, let the road decide or have you, I, I mean, Right at the onset of your career, when you were doing like villains and character roles for television, did you ever plan that you want to get there where you would be romancing like a stunning hit machine and working with the biggest dawn? Or were you like, a chalo? No, I, when I dreamt of becoming an actor, I had certain ideas, you know, I wanted to do certain roles. Definitely I wanted to do uh, romantic roles. I wanted to do love stories. Uh, but, you know, life taught me certain things, you know, life taught me that don't take your plans so seriously. We have already a design for you. It's your job is just to recognize those uh, nudges, you know, which keeps coming, uh, you know, one after the other. You know, if you don't recognize that nudge, which which uh, which a nature gives you, so you, those challenges, those are the challenges for you to overcome so that you go into different orbit. So you had a design that I, I want to be here and you're very focused and yeah. hard working yeah. and stuff. What was the biggest nudge that made you rethink something? Uh, the certain sureties which were there, uh, for instance, like when I got uh, immediate break after, not after, but when I was in National School of Drama, I was offered this part in uh, Slam Bombay. Mm. It was a major part and my life was set that, you know, the kind of roles I imagined, the kind of preparation we were doing in National School of Drama and, you know, going into a character, uh, you know, researching about them, living their life. International exactly, director. International director. Uh, exactly same thing was happening and I said, you know, fine, perfect. And same time, as I got sure about this, life taught me another, cha uh, other lesson that, you know, don't take anything for granted. Because now what? No, nah, you know, no, it was... Like, life was telling me that, you know, things are uncertain. Especially this line is uncertain. So don't be sure of anything. So, while we were doing the workshop and as they were coming close to the shoot, they decided that, you know, this role is, the height doesn't work with the kids. And my role was scrapped. And that was my first break, my first setback. So, you know, these kind of things, you know, when you keep on, when these kind of things keep on coming in your life, you tend to think. What is this? And how do you deal with those setbacks? Do you then, does it make you crumble at that time or oh, did yes. it like make you, okay, I'm going to beat this? No, I was very emotional guy and mm. I am a still a very emotional guy and uh, uh, it just shattered me, you know. I, I wept, I wept in Suni Tarpodwala's uh, lap, you know, and Suni told me uh, uh, an incident about her life, ki how she was a photographer and how her book was coming out and, you know, she was trying to console me. But because I'm a survivor, you know, I fight back. Till a point, you know, you let yourself go and then one day you get up and say, okay, we'll see. And life comes full circle, full circle where yeah. you've done namesake afterwards right. uh, uh, with her. When you were in NSD and you looked at yourself in the mirror, you have a certain face. Did you look at yourself and say, I'm going to make it to cinema, no problem? Or uh, something will have to shift for me to fit in? Did you ever uh, think that at that time? I, or? My drive was such that, you know, I had to get in cinema. I wanted to be an actor. But when I looked at my face, I used to feel that, you know, because I was, you know, I was thinking with a very naive, naive mind. I was trying to find a reference point. Has, is anybody like my face has come to cinema? Which was a very, you know, uh, foolish thinking. But I was... I no, but what else do you have to go by? Like, you have to have some convention that has been set before. You should have... Right? You no, know, if you were... I was smart enough, I should have thought that you know, no similar faces come, you know, hmm. in cinema. There are always new faces which come in cinema. Uh, 
So I used to find those references and I never used to get any reference. The most closest one was Nimrim Chakravarti. So <laughs> I can see it, yes. Can so you dance I, like him? <laughs> I used to that time. Uh, so, uh, but I had a curly hair, so I used to, you know, uh, blow dry them and, you know, try to put them in front of my face. You know, uh, for some time, uh, but you know, my 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 hair was not so soft, mm -hmm. so it used to, you know, become so strange. <laughs> I'm trying to pull them down, and they are hard. They used to become like you know, chaja, uh, 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 you know. So that was. Uh, so I had doubts about my, uh, definitely, you know, about my face, and I thought whether I'll be fit in, I'll be able to fit in or not. Uh, but I was very driven. You've said earlier that, you know, the key to your success is being belief in yourself. That find your strong points and then hold on to them. What or who sort of helped you unleash what your strengths were and what are your strengths? I think it's you, it's you yourself. You cannot uh, uh, depend on anybody because, you know, uh, people have their own uh, ways of thinking. But the way you can understand yourself, nobody can understand you. And the way you can identify your strong point and minus point. Uh, nobody can. So what are your strong points? What would be your strongest point? Let me come, let me come to this later. First, you know, I'll, I'll give you an example. Like when I, be, I thought of becoming an actor, I had certain ideas, you know. I, I, was, uh, I was in drama school and there was film festival. And I saw Kamala Hassan coming for that festival. And he had a different look completely. I used to see, uh, you know, Robert De Niro's pictures in, mm. uh, and I, every, every time I used to find him a kind of, you know, different life, living a different life and that used to attract me a lot. So when I came here, I started practicing that, you know, whenever I'm getting a role, so I'm trying to Im imbibe that look. And I had photo shoot, that kind of photo shoot, you know, where different looks. Most of the people, you know, they discouraged me. They were, they were my, well, you know, well-wishers and they said, keep what are you doing this, you know, why we don't see you, these are all different looks and you know, a director will get confused. So, so it was completely contrast, you know. Mm. So I had to take a call, you know, what I want to do. So I think you yourself can be your guide, you know, nobody else. You so can in take a, sense, a tips, you've you know. been uh, kind of instrumental um, in changing what Bollywood is today. I mean, today we're in a good place. We're in a good transitory place, yeah. place very, very good where place. Uh, someone like you is mainstream. Mm -hmm. You are not on the periphery anymore yeah, at yeah. all. Mm -hmm. But perhaps you've been, do you feel like you were a pioneer? That if everyone's advising you, no, and you're still going ahead and doing something like I that? I think it's for the other people to decide and give those kind of definition because that's, that definition is not going to do anything to me, you know. Hmm. Uh, it can, you know, they can have different views and, you know, they can put me on some pedestal, they can, they can you know, uh, uh, you know, pull me down, you know, whatever. But I have to, re I have to rely on my work. What I remember, what processes I remember uh, when I did some film, what stayed with me, that is my strength, you know. These that's labels... you love the craft. Right? I you like it. You love that. I like it. I, it's sometimes, you know, it's, it's not fun doing it. Mm. It's, it's like, you know, pain, you know, uh, doing some part. But you want to do it. That's a drive. And once you have done it, you know, that's a kind of achievement, that's a kind so of... So money has not been a drive ever. Wait a minute, there's a quote of yours that says, I often visualize giving my mother the big black suitcase crammed with notes like the gangsters do. Has that come true or not? Yeah, it's <laughs> come true. <laughs> but you know, when you, when you uh, dream about these things, you are too young. And you know, life has its own colors, you know, life surprises you. Life never, you know, uh, it's, it, it's different, you know, it's different. Um, I was very emotional with my mother. I was very, I'm a sentimental guy. You know. um, I do know that there are, you know, strange things attached with sentimentality. But, you know, I am what I am. <clears throat> so I used to feel like that way, you know. I used to make my mother happy because she thought, you know, why is he doing acting? And I used to tell her that you will be proud of me, you know. I'm, I'm not going to do something in the, in the, on the screen which you'll feel, oh, why is he doing that? I'll do something where you'll, you'll feel proud. You know. And uh, is she? I, uh, sometimes, sometimes, mm. yeah. So you're definitely in the Khan's bracket of the big crores and things? Uh, or no, are I you don't still know. being uh, paid no, the I'm character not. money? No, no, no. I have my own price, but uh, uh, these all clans, you know, these, mm. these categories, you know, I, I don't believe in that. And uh, it doesn't do anything to you, you know, it's your individual connection 
whether it's Salman or uh, Shah Rukh or Amir, they have, they are not there just because their name is Khan. They are there because they have a special connection with the audience. They could be Tripathi or they could be, you know, some Sayyid or, you know, they could be anybody, you know. So uh, talking about your uh, relationship with your mother, you talked about an emotional uh, thing. This film, Piku, is about a father-daughter relationship. Have you been uh, good, you know, eventually all of us will have to look after our aging parents, etc. Right, yeah. Have you been a good son? I, have, well, I am a very responsible son. But uh, I have a very uh, strange relationship with my mother that uh, we have a lot of arguments, you know. We don't, uh, what the way she thinks, you know, the way I think, it doesn't gel. But, but it, it, it doesn't mean that we, we don't have conversations, you know. Uh, I used to have all kind of conversations. She was very modern in her way, you know. I could have, you know, I also discussed sex with her. Uh, that was, you know, it was not a problem. But the way she deals with her life, uh, you know, I, it's not, I don't agree with it and I have fights and the way I take things, you know, she tries to impose certain things on me which I don't like. So are you different as a father? I am very different as a father and uh, the thing Do you which get I have, to, are you an involved father first, with all your crazy father. schedules? I'm, I'm very involved father except the studies and I hate schools. I also hate schools. I, I wish, <laughs> I, you know, they could never, I, I you know, I sometimes you know, find uh, you know, excuses not to send them to school. I, what I have realized that, you know, they, this is a generation which is very, there's a lot of information. So, as the information comes, they also form an opinion. And as pa parents, you try, to, you, are, you are in a hurry, you are eager to teach them. And that happens with first child, you know, which is, you are very anxious and you want to teach them everything. And that becomes a burden on child, you know. Uh, what I've realized that, you know, it's a, the dialogue should be open, you know, it should be, they should feel free to discuss anything with you. You should give, you should create that space and then everything falls into place. Everything falls but into place. But it's work in progress, right? It's work in progress. You have to All work on yourself to be yeah, able to be, yeah. not like do it like yeah. this and you're my property. Yeah. Um, Deepika in this film. Now, what happened in this film or something that convinced you during the making of this film that yes, she deserves to be number one? I think uh, not during the film. Uh, what During the film, what I discovered about her is the glow what she carries. You know. It's a strange glow she has. I don't know how does it come. It's a glow of success, Irfan. You have it too. <laughs> no, I think, I think it's she has the it. glow of success. <laughs> I can't match her glow, you know this. And also uh, the upbringing, hmm. which she, you know, she she uses that kind of upbringing, you know, what family she's coming, and uh, there's a kind of uh, strange uh, integrity about her. You know, she is number one, but. She has her interest going all around, you know, like uh, she wants to explore herself as an actor. She has an interest in hospitality and, you know, she's... <clears throat> so she's not blinded by this and she doesn't, I think, she's making a very good use of her position, you know. On one side, she's doing all glamorous films, you know, big films, and also she is not, uh, 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 you know, letting this chance go to get good scripts and do fantastic characters. Maximize. Maximize it, you know, in all aspects. I give a lift to Irfan. What do you call now? Irfan or Irfan, Irfan. Khan? Or? I prefer Irfan, but they, they sometimes they write Irfan Khan, so it doesn't matter. They can write anything. I remember when I worked with you, Irfan, you were the most silent and yet keen person. Like you could hear, you know, the workings of your brain. Like you really sort of get involved in the story and in the character. What is your starting point? Like how do you break something down? Oh, as a character? Mm. Uh, it's just the first uh, impression what the story have on me, you know. When I read the story, what it does to me. Uh, and then the character, you know, character, when you are reading a character, it does something to you. And that's, you know, that's the most powerful thing. And uh, that leads you. And then, you know, uh, you... S then you, you know, practically you start seeing whether it's a film for Bollywood, is Hollywood, who's the director, uh, what is he trying to do through film, you know. Means what is the le pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you give that much, you know. You, if I'm doing Gunde, I want, I, I, I will not go into a kind of nuances of a character which is... you look like you're in a documentary. A yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it becomes a burden on that kind of storytelling. Mm -hmm. And while wa doing the film, you know, you, you see the director and you see, you know, his, his language, you get the impression. 
and you know accordingly or sometimes the films are so personal that some directors just allow you to be what you are you know you don't have to bother about anything you just be there and that those are fantastic experiences so what is a character that has not left you or really made an impact on you from all Hansen the time was such his character in treatment character was such uh, namesake's character was such hasan's character was such which stayed with me uh, in treatment character i wanted to leave it behind you know it so stayed with you in a negative negative like way like yeah, with that feeling you know that yeah. that feeling of the namesake character you know it made me feel old and i hated it <laughs> I hated it, you know, because uh, you know I could feel a pain in my joints, and I said, "What the?" <laughs> and I, you know, I just wanted to get away from that. Uh, Pan Singh had a great, 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 uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, his personality was fantastic. You know, I, I still carry him. Uh, there are a few roles, you know, you carry, like the one I am doing in Inferno. You know, I, I'm loving this character. Now your English today is yeah. like. phenomenal right it, like it, but it I never still, used to be like that no it was never it's still i still i'm 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 not a uh, you I think in think, hindi i yeah. definitely think in hindi and i can never think in english uh, it's just my you know uh, uh, this you know i want to do hollywood films that's why i i work on it Uh, But it never ever made you insecure that your lack of command of English, and here you are going and doing Hollywood films, which require yeah. you to, you know, you're not yeah. necessarily playing the brownie who can't speak English. Right. You're playing normal characters normal who characters, are yeah. in, in native English speakers. Yeah, yeah. It never sort of was a hindrance. It a uh, lot, lot of directors told me. One of the director, you know, I don't want to name. They said, you know, you should work on your skill. English otherwise it would be difficult for you to uh, survive in Hollywood but somehow I didn't take it seriously I don't know why I had what kind of you know some conviction I had I thought you know if it had to happen it will happen you know uh although it's not an excuse that I should have worked more on my English uh but somehow things have worked out but the kind of characters I was getting even as an Ind like Indian they were they were good characters they were they were they were pivotal characters they were the excellent film. characters but yes their ethnicity was indian, indian. now you're indian. not right now See, they are what happens in uh, jurassic park i we had a you know a discussion with the director and then i asked him you want me to have some kind of accent uh, do we bother about his nationality he said just be what you are what's your name in it masrani so can you find anyone He's Italian. He's Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Indian Italian. So fine. So you need to do a British accent. So, do the Italian yeah. accent. So then. now I'm really in in uh, Hollywood. I'm international man. You know, <laughs> I could be from anywhere. You know, I could have lived in London. I could have lived in uh, America or you know. Does it boggle your mind sometimes from where to it, where? It's uh, yeah. It's it feels nice. You know, it's it's. Uh, feels but I don't, nice. I you don't think like that. You know, I don't think like that. Oh, where was I? Where I have come? You always. You, you know, it's gone. It's gone. You know, it's gone. It, it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. Wow. It's gone. Uh, wow. You are, you are just, you know, what, what you are living here. That's, that's it. You know, what's going to come? Maybe, you know, that makes you excited. But that's again a trap. You know, you can't rely on future. It's mostly, you know, the process. What you are into, like now. I am working on Inferno. Is giving me immense pleasure. But Irfan, that's amazing. That's so philosophically here and now. I think life teaches you. you yeah, know. that life you have to be here and now. You said something although, else. Although, although I would lo love to, you know, talk about this. There, there's no here and now. Oh it's really? All, yeah, it's just a, it's just a concept which is being sold by these all these gurus. Excuse me, you know, this is there's no here and now. So what yeah. are we then? We are just traveling. We are just constantly so wait, there's motion. There's no here and now. There's because no, there's, you because can't. That moment yeah, passes in an instant. Instant, you know. But this is the thing, Irfan. You're extremely interesting. and you just talked about getting old right now you haven't looked better and you're mm. approaching i'm not saying you are you're yeah. approaching 50 right, right so i want you to complete this sentence irfan at 20 was uh shy uh, inhibited uh, lots of doubt uh, no vision no uh, point of view uh, highly romantic uh, dreamy uh, you know uh intense uh looking for love looking for acceptance looking for recognition looking for acknowledgement and always lost and you're fine at 30 uh wanting more and more girls 
uh you know busy with his work but he's still trying to find his own uh comfort level in front of camera a lot of dreams and exciting life you know and having fun uh and surviving and trying to make best of whatever work was coming you know and, and going through some uh, heartbreaks and everything you know heartbreaks and heartbreaks, you, yeah, you were married then but you were falling in love left right and center i was i was married very late you know uh, i think before that i had some heartbreaks and that was the most interesting lessons i have learned in my life i think they were very very essential for my kind of person to go through that and you know see what is beyond you know i i i am it's changed my life you know those those I'm so happy breaks. to hear this because you know most people think a heartbreak thing matters of the heart is so frivolous but that's what make, gives you the intensity the, yeah. to feel you, it gives you that intensity and then once it's it happens you are shattered you don't know what was going to happen you want to die you want to i want to beg i wanted to beg in the street because there was no motivation left i used to feel uh claustrophobic when i used to feel, when i used to look at uh, dogs because i used to, i used to see a kind of pleasing quality in dog i used to see uh, they are always trying to do chamchagri to find their food you know I, so I, i was going you know nuts you are a bit head. nuts i am i am but you know so i was you going were I, I, dogs I, because they were like uh, trying to befriend you and trying try, to no, they was i could see a kind of manipulation that you know it it was not genuine it was for their food what whatever they were doing they were doing for the food you know they are trying to be in a group and they were trying to you know survive and uh people used to uh define it as love and i used to see something else in that because i was going through that experience of you know dejection and and you know everything but so th- that taught me a lot you know i i, I love that you know i love that in the sense and now i it's a perspective when you get the perspective you you know you learn so many things and irfan in his 40s uh i started discovering about religion about religion religion and suddenly you know my my i i discovered that you know in 40s that uh, uh, we are conditioned badly programmed by our societies and our parents and our you know fears and our uh, you know concerns and our securities and that's what is making our religion so important although uh, it's it's useless uh you are you have to find your own religion you have to find your own connection with god and god uh is a very very personal thing you know the relationship with god is very personal thing you know it's it doesn't need to you don't need to identify with any religion you can ex- you can allow all the religion to come in whatever works for you and uh, that's your religion you know you have to discover your religion you cannot become part of this gang you know one religion so you're not a practicing muslim by no, no, any no no i'm not and I'm you not. have a mixed family and i have a mixed family and uh, how do you bring up your children so what are you imbibing whatever good is there so what your religion is what exactly then uh, it's my religion there's no name when i give name hmm. to my religion is it will be destroyed ah it will be gone so it's here it's here it's the connection with anything you know it's connection with a creation creator you know if there is any you know if there is any uh, there could be just a consciousness there could be a, a just awareness which is doing all this uh, you know mysterious games you know uh, so you know, that there that happened a subject that you talk to irfan about that he doesn't think deeply about and doesn't have i, I could ask you about anything i could ask you about the color of uh, my couch and you'll have something to say about it i, I want to do a film like that <laughs> <laughs> the emotion should be the emotion should be red and furry irfan in his 50s will be uh i don't know i want to find love lots of love lots of love in my what life. kind of love oh, romantic love it could be romantic also you know uh, 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 with everything you know your heart should be like Are you feeling that you've saturated that at this point in your life? No, I'm uh, I thank God to these stories, you know, which keeps on I keep on reviving things because of these stories. If I was a businessman, I would have been a different person, you know. These stories give me a chance to, you know, to ignite my heart, you know, ignite myself, ignite my sensibilities. So, I hope, you know, my heart should be, you know, it it should, you know, it should be like on LSD 24 hours. Oh my god. Now all these beautiful actresses that you have worked with and continue to work with Deepika, Aishwarya, Natalie Portman, Tabu. Have you ever come or anyone else that you can think of? Have you ever come close to really falling in love with them? With these actresses? Hmm. I'm not going to tell you. Yes you are. No. <laughs> yes you are. 
I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> uh, you are in love many times, you know, you are in love and uh, sometimes that love manifests, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it's just your own, uh, for you, you, you protect that feeling and you just live that feeling and you live it beautifully and, you know, you just uh, experience that. But falling in love is the most beautiful thing in this world, you know, it's just... And he wants it over and, over and over, over and, and over and over yeah, and over again. Yeah, but there's a kind of wave which keeps on going whole day, whole night. There's a wave which travels inside you. And that's the most beautiful thing on this planet. And on that note, I'm going to say goodbye to Irfan, who's feeling the waves and the waves of love. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you.